Tips. Hey guys, Christina Ritchie. If you want more pars, but you really struggle in the bunker, you see a ball fly in there and you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta get out of the bunker. Well, today's your lucky day. We're not only gonna cover the basic bunker shot, we're gonna do ball below, ball on an upslope, fried egg, and a ball on a lip. So you can escape the bunker unharmed and with confidence. You ready? Let's get to it. All right, a lot of players, a ton, really struggle in the bunker. You know, that was an almoster. All right, so I want to make bunker play really, really easy. All right, the first thing you need to understand is you need a wedge that has at least 11, 12 degrees of bounce. All right, bounce is your friend. That's what helps you glide through the sand with ease. All right, so make sure you're wedge has enough bounce all right this is bounce this is what glides through the sand with ease i've got my pxg this works fantastic in the bunker all right so make sure you have a really good wedge with some good bounce a lot of players are not comfortable opening this club face in the bunker all right when you open the face it exposes the bounce and that's what glides through the sand with ease the ball flies out on a magic carpet ride of sand where players go off as they play a square face and they end up digging it. The ball goes two feet or blading. We don't want that. No, we want to get out with a splash so we can get our par. So you're going to stay 5'7". Actually 5'6", because we're really low. Good, so there's a ceiling above your head. You do not want to break through the ceiling. All right, you're going to just turn your torso, stay low, throw the club down. that that was awesome all right so let's just go over the general technique and then I'll talk about alignment because it's very important so we're gonna play an open club face all right we're gonna go ahead and get low this is this is the part that players are really uncomfortable with so just get low ball is in a three wood position we're gonna enter the, enter the sand two inches behind the ball all right the sand takes the ball out we're gonna have a little bit more weight on our front side handles low I'm low I'm going to turn and then just throw the club down into the sand. All right, throw it down. It's going to feel like a lot for a lot of players that you're casting, but you're not. All right, one player was so afraid she was going to cast that she held her angles too deep and ended up hitting way behind. All right, and then I showed her the footage and she's like, wow, I'm not casting. All right, but you're actually going to feel like you're throwing the club down into the sand and then you add a little rotation through all right and that's it all right the key to the success of bunker shot is hinging the club we got a hinge boom there's hinge and then we lose that hinge down into the sand two inches behind the ball and that's the bunker shot so we're going to hinge and drop and that's it you can see. You can see that I'm finished real low, flat-footed, pretty much. All right, because the lower body's there to support you. The upper body is doing all the work here. Actually, what's doing all the work is the bounce and the hinge. All right, your job is to turn and hinge. I like hands here. Players go up by going way up here. Right, just turn your torso and hinge the club. And then just throw that down two inches behind the ball and you're done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, if the ball was in a regular lie, open the face. So if this is the target line, you're gonna aim your open club face to that target line where players go off as they come in like this. And then they get up to the ball and they're like, oh my goodness, that club face is way to the right. So then they pull their hands back to try to get the open club face to go to the target line. 
All right, so instead you're gonna walk in, aim your open club face to your target line and then set your body lines open to that. So you're gonna create a little V with your body lines. All right, and that's gonna take care of the steep part. You don't have to add anything. So you can aim your open club face to your target line and then set your body lines open and left of that for a right-handed player creating a V. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna aim your club face, open club face to your target line. And then you're gonna set your body lines open to that. All right, we're not gonna be square here. We're gonna be open. All right, and that's gonna take care of the steep part. You don't have to add anything. Players get really steep in the bunker and cut across. All right, the open stance and the open club face is gonna take care of that. The open club face exposes the bounce. The open stance takes care of the steep. You just gotta get low, hinge, and throw the club down two inches behind into the sand. All right, so this is what they considered a fried egg. All right, with a fried egg, we're gonna go square. All right, we're basically gonna chop down into the sand here and pop the ball out. Now for a fried egg, we're gonna go ahead and square it up. So fried egg is where the ball's a little buried. All right, it's kind of sitting in its own divot. So we're gonna square it up. We're gonna get a little narrower the stance, and all we're gonna do is hinge this and then drop it. And that's it. Club's gonna finish down here. All right, so we're just gonna pop it out. More weight on our front leg. Start him slightly ahead of the ball. Oh, that was awesome. All right, and that's... Oh, that was awesome. All right, and that's it. The key is you gotta be smooth. Where players go off is they get real choppy. All right, so be smooth with your chop. All right, to have success. All right, so when you find your ball and upslope in the bunker, you're gonna angle your shoulder lines, your shoulder line with the slope. More weight on your downhill leg. Again, you're gonna play the ball off your lead chest, which is like a three-wood position. Open the club face, open your stance, and that's it. Everything else is the same. You're still gonna pivot, you're still gonna hinge, your hands are still gonna be here, not here. Throw the club down into the sand, two inches behind, and you're good to go. All right, well, players go off in the, with slopes as they try to get level and they end up chopping. All right, so we don't want to chop. All right, you're gonna work with the slope, work with it. All right, so if you have a bunker at your range, may I suggest that you practice, All right? Because players aren't great in the bunker because they don't practice. All right, so again, angle your shoulders. You want to be here and not here. You're going to hinge and turn your chest and then throw the club down two inches behind into the sand. You're not gonna go up high, you're gonna stay low, stable with your lower body. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so this is definitely one of the toughest shots in golf in the bunker, and that's a downslope. All right, so when you find your ball in the down slope, you're gonna angle your body lines with the slope, so you're gonna have more weight on your downhill leg. Angle your shoulders, play the ball center. More weight on your downhill leg. All right, you're gonna turn and then just drop the club right down. And my entry point is two inches behind. All right, so you gotta trust this. When players go off, as they try to help this thing in the air, they end up blading it. All right, so I'm still playing an open club face. Get balance here, trust, send the club right down the slope as I turn. Turn and hinge. 
Oh man, the ball's out. I just need a little bit bigger backswing. All right, so don't be afraid to turn here. I'm gonna make a little bit bigger backswing, do the same thing, and I should be good to go. Hands are still low, but I'm just turning the torso a little more. All right, so we can get some speed and get some height because this ball wants to go crazy low. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Take that all day long. Now, if I smooth out that tempo and don't go so fast, say I'm going to one of the forward flags there, it's gonna smooth out the tempo. Still make a crazy good turn. Yeah, there it is. All right, the goal is to get the ball out. We're not gonna be a hero here. Ball's on the green and I have a par putt. Take that all day long. All right, if you find your ball close to the edge, so this is the lip of the bunker and a little plugged, best of luck to you. This is a tough shot. You just want to get it out. Even if it goes two feet, you just want to get it out. All right, so I like to play a square face with this. I'm going to go ahead and hinge this thing and plow it right down into the sand behind the ball. And God willing, that ball should pop out. God willing. All right, let's give it a whirl. I usually like to wear my sunglasses, but I don't have them at the moment. I highly recommend wearing your sunglasses for protection. All right. Now for the, I'm just gonna get more balance. I'm not gonna really put more weight on the front side here. The key is the hinge, the turn in the hinge, and then just plow it down there, square face. All right. All right, that's all you can do. All you want to do is get that puppy out. All right, you don't want to be a hero here. That is the key. Square face, force, plow. <laughs> All right, bada bing, bada boom. The ball's out.